Jesus. from heaven above. Our God is an awesome God. Is he an awesome God to you? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us give God some praise in the house. Let us lift up the name of Jesus in the house. Let us honor our maker because he made it us and he has given us the strength. He is an awesome God. Oh, glory to God. You are, you are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are awesome in this place. Oh, glory to God. We lift up your name of Jesus. We place you at the highest place. We give you the praise because praise belongs to you. We worship the King of Kings. We honor the maker. Hallelujah. We glorify the Lords of Lords. We of the name of Jesus because at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess Jesus is Lord he's Lord of the universe he's Lord of the land he's Lord hallelujah for our lives he is the rock of ages and he is the rose of Sharon glory to God Lift up the name of Jesus. 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 Oh, glory to God. You are worthy, Jesus. There is none like you because you are God and you never fail us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. We bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus, for your goodness and your mercies. And we honor you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. The songwriter said, I feel like praising, praising him. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated for those who are still standing. Praise God. When we come into the house of the Lord, we come to worship the Lord. We come to give him praise. We come to honor him because most of our time is spent outside of our family members within the church and many times we don't find the time to worship God. So when we come in the house of the Lord for the few hours that we are here, let us give him true worship. Hallelujah. Praise God. I just want to greet the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the house. Praise God. And I acknowledge their presence. This morning, I greet, or this afternoon, whatever it is, I greet all the ministering servants in the house and the moderator of this service. I also acknowledge the presence of our musician because music is life. Bless the Lord. And I just want to greet everyone else in the mighty name of Jesus. I see a lot of people that I knew, whether from school, whether from church, long-time members. It's been a while. I haven't been in licensed church for on this occasion. But thanks be to God, I am here. And with me this morning, worshiping with you, is my husband, Lucian Jackson, and he's right at the back there. And also, I'm going to ask him to just wave a praise in the house. Praise God. Praise God. And also, my, one of my grandson is with me, you know, Kellan. And before I go any further, I just want Brother Jackson to just come and greet the congregation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Shall we praise God? Shall we praise him one more time? Indeed, it's a pleasure and a privilege to be here in Lyson. I'd rather be silent. I, I sent her a message. I'm keeping quiet. But she didn't obey me. 
you know, but I know I'm in the house this morning seeing pleasant faces, familiar faces. I remember your face. I don't know if you remember me. From way back. Don't let me tell them where I know you. Amen. But it's good to be in the house. It's family worship. Let us keep the family going. Let us keep the fire and the spirit of the Lord alive. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Well, it wasn't for the will of the Lord to, for me to see that message. Praise God. Praise God. Not all that quiet as you think he is. Praise God. He's a very talkative person. You know? So when he should send that message, I don't know what he's talking about. But bless the Lord. We are here today to worship God. We are here today to, to experience the power of God. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. I see and I notice that today is uh, we are recognizing the different families in the house. Bless the Lord, praise God. And the family is worshiping with, um, today in the house. Growing up as a young girl, when my mother, because my father never used to go to church, but my mother will never leave us at home. It doesn't matter how often she would go to church or whatever she have to do in church, but she will never leave us. We have to be behind her at all times. Bless the Lord. But one thing I know that my father never stopped her from doing the work of the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. You know, and right in front of me, I have my half-sister, Julian. You know, um, her, her, what should I say? Her grandmother adopted me in the family. So we are related, both spiritually and physically. So praise God. And we are here in the house. And I want you to pray for me. We are, we are going to seek God today. We are going to depend upon the Lord today. Put everything aside and allow the Holy Spirit to be our guide. Allow the Holy Spirit to take charge of our lives. It doesn't matter what you have left at home or whatever is bothering you or whatever it challenges you have. Let us lay them down right now at Jesus' feet. Because he said, cast your cares upon him for he cared for us. And if somebody cares for us, why should we walk around with all the burdens? Why should we walk around with all the baggages? Why should we walk around with all the discomfort, but lay them down at Jesus' feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are worthy, mighty God. I want you to jo join with me in turning your Bibles with to 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse from verse 20 through to verse 40. Sorry about that. And we will be reading about Elijah, Ahab, and Behal, the prophets. Praise God. So Ahab set for all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together on Mount Carmel. And Elijah came to all the people and said, How long will you falter between two opinions? If the Lord is God... Follow him. But if Baal, be Baal, follow him. But the people answered him, not a word. Then Elijah said to the people, I alone am left a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. Therefore, let them give us two bulls. And let them choose one bull for themselves. Cut it in pieces. Lay it on the wood. But put no fire under it. And I will prepare the other bull. And lay it on the wood. But put no fire under it. Then you call on the name of your gods. And I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God who answers by fire, he is God. So all the people answered and said, 
It is well spoken. Now Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, choose one bull for yourselves and prepare it first. For you are many and call on the name of your God, but put no fire under it. So they took the bull which was given them and they prepared it and called on the name of Baal from morning even till noon saying, Oh Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, no one answer. Then they leaped about the altar which they had made. And so it was at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, Cry aloud, for he is God. Either he is meditating, or he is busy, or he is on a journey, or perhaps he is sleeping and must be awakened. Hallelujah. So they cried aloud and cut themselves, as was their custom, with knives and, and lenses, until the blood gushed out of them. And when midday was past, they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice. But there was no voice, no one answered, no one paid attention. Then Elijah said to all the people, come near to me. So all the people came near to him and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And Elijah took 12 stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob to whom the word of the Lord had come saying, Israel shall be your name. Then with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. And he made a trench around the altar large enough to hold two sets of seed. And he put the wood in order. Cut the bull in pieces. Laid it on the wood and said, Fill four water pots with water. Pour it on the burnt sacrifice and on the wood. Then he said, do it a second time. And they did it a second time. And he said, do it a third time. And they did it a third time. Then he said, hallelujah, fill the trench with water. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the, the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel and I am your servant and that I have done all these things at your word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me that this people may know that you are the Lord God and that you are turned their hearts back to you again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and it licked up the water. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That was in the trench. Now when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, the Lord he is God. The Lord, he is God. Hallelujah. And Elijah said to them, seize the prophets of Baal. Do not let them, let one of them escape. So they seized them and Elijah brought them down to the brook Kishon and executed them there. Hallelujah. Bow your heads with me. Father God, we come before your presence. We know, God, that you are in the house, and we seek your intervention right now. I pray, mighty God, that this house, oh God, will fi be filled with your awesome presence. I pray, Father God, that you will let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you right now in Jesus' precious name. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. If I should use... For a topic this today, I would use when the fire falls. Amen. When the fire falls. When we look at the word fire, 
Fire is a process in which substance combined chemical with oxygen from the air and gives out a bright light, heat, smoke, and burning. Fire is an occurrence in which something burns and destruction of something by fire. Praise God. When we look at the fire spiritually, we see where fire represents power. Fire represents strength. Fire represents a protection and the ability to transform one stage, hallelujah, to another. God is able. God is a consuming fire. Praise God. The Bible describes the presence and the glory of God as a fire. When we look in Matthew chapter 25, where we see there were 10 virgins, but five were foolish. Five of them, hallelujah, they were waiting for the bridegroom to come, to appear. But when the bridegroom came at midnight, they realized that their lights were going down and their lights have become dim. But I want to remind us uh, that we need to fuel our lamps. Uh, hallelujah. Every day, daily as we go, our lamps need to be fueled so that we are able to burn uh, even in the midnight hour. Praise God. When we look at our lives, we let our oil of the Holy Spirit get so dim that we are not able to function. We let self get into the place and we do as our ability takes us. But I want to tell you that when we depend on the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will do more than what man can do. Man is limited. Hallelujah. But God is is limitless. Hallelujah. We need, hallelujah, our oils in our lamps to be refilled. We need the flame in our lives to be, hallelujah, to be refilled with the word of God. We need, oh God, to go back to the place that Jesus can use us. We need to lost ourselves in God and let the Holy Spirit take charge because when we lose our Ourself. We must find it in God because God is the author and he is the finisher of our faith. He is the one, hallelujah, when he pulled the switch, no man can put it up. God is the king of kings and he is the lord of lords. He is a conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. My God is able to break every chain. He is able to calm the raging sea. He is able to roll back the curtains of memories now and then and show us where he has brought us from. But many times when the Lord elevated us, we take self unto it and forget about the goodness of God. But my God said he will supply all our needs according to his riches in glory. Mm. Hallelujah. When we get back to the olden days and to the word of God, we notice when the, when the men of old, hallelujah, when there was trouble in the camp, they would go on fasting for days and they would seek God. But nowadays, we are too busy doing other things. We are too busy taking care of this world and forget about who God is forget about that God is able forget about that he is a maker of this universe we forget about who our creator is and he is the lords of lords mighty God mighty God 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we want the fire to fall, hallelujah, we have to avail ourselves to the God. We have to know that God is the rock of ages. We have to know that he is the consuming fire. And he is a jealous God. He doesn't share his glory. He doesn't share his kingdom with any and anything. Because he is a holy God. He said, present yourself as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable before him. Mighty God, when we are, when if we want the fire fall, God will visit us. We have to avail ourselves to Him. God appeared to his people in different ways. He might appear to me, hallelujah, in a different way than he appeared to you. When we look, hallelujah, in Exodus, we see God appear to Moses in the form of a burning bush. The flame of fire was an extraordinary sight. So Moses had to draw near to see what was happening because he knew they noticed that the bush was not consumed he noticed that the bush hallelujah hallelujah was still hallelujah green even though it was in a fire but God hallelujah hallelujah said to him Moses take off thy shoes for, for where thou standest his holy ground the house of the Lord is holy ground. Walk into hallelujah. Walk in the presence of the Lord. My God is holy. Hallelujah. My God is a consuming fire and it doesn't share his glory with anything. Mighty God we see also in Ezekiel where Ezekiel had a vision of God when he behold the world, the world, the wild Hallelujah. The wild wind came out of the north with a great cloud with raging fire engulfing itself. The brightness was all around it. It was like a color of amber. When we look on fire, nobody wants to go near the fire because we will get burned. But I want to tell you, it's time to get close to God and let the fire of God God, fall upon you, mighty God, today, Lord, let the fire fall in this congregation, let the fire from heaven fall upon the upon man, we need the, the fire to take away, oh, glory to God, our sin, we need the consuming fire to change our lives, we need a purification, oh, glory Glory to God. We can't go from day to day just the same. Mighty God, let the flame keep burning. Let the flame of God keep burning. Whether in the taxes, let the flame burn. Whether on the street, let the flame burn. If you are in the house of God, let it burn even brighter. Oh, glory to God. When you are going through your trials, let the fire burn. When you are going through situations, let the fire burn. When you are up on the mountain, let the fire burn. When you are down in the valley, let the fire burn. Because in the valley, he restored my soul soul. Mm, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will impart his presence upon us and equip us for service. Many of us, we are so cold and lukewarm, but the word of God reminds us that he will spew us out. He will spew us out. Because we are neither hot and we are neither cold. And God.
cannot work with the lukewarmness people. Hallelujah. Here we see in Kings chapter 18, the Lord told Elijah, hallelujah, to present himself to Ahab. Ahab and he would send rain on the land. And you read, hallelujah, the beginning of Kings chapter 18, and you will see, and even the scriptures before, Elijah was a prophet. And during this turbulent time, hallelujah, in history, he was a prophet. Hallelujah, the, na the nation turned from the presence of the Lord. They turned from God and they started to worship the Baal God. Hallelujah, many of us, oh God, many of you, oh glory to God, we turn away from God. We only come and we present ourselves to show others that hallelujah you can say Lord but is it coming from a heart that is true is it coming from a sincere heart but I want to tell you it's time to turn hallelujah turn back to the Lord it's time to be genuine in what we do it's time to seek more of God seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you. It's time to lay down your troubles at Jesus' feet. It's time to give up what you held on so dear to your heart. It's time to give up the idols that you have in your heart. Mighty God, mighty God, the things that you are addicted to, it's time to give them up. Anything that is not of God, it's time you lay them down at Jesus' Jesus feet. Jesus, Jesus. But King Hayab, hallelujah, formed an alliance with Sidon by marrying their princesses, Jezebel. And when we hear about Jezebel, it's nothing good. Hallelujah. Elijah was sent to show Israel the evil of their ways and encourage them to return to the Lord. I'm here to remind us to return to the Lord. If we want to feel the fire of God, we need to turn to the Lord. So Elijah presented himself to King Ahab, telling him to, to summon the prophets of Baal and Asherah. Asherah was a, the princess goddess, the fertility god. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was an evil god. Mighty God, but the people, they worship the gods of Baal. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, there was, oh glory to God, an experience there on Mount Carmel. He come. He come Protect the people. He told them if they prepare a sacrifice and call on the Lord, whichever answer by fire would demonstrate who was the true God. So Ahab, they, they call upon Baal. There was no answer. They started, glory to God. They cut themselves. They do all kinds of things to themselves. But Elijah mocked them. And said, maybe your God is sleeping. Maybe he's on a journey. Maybe he might be busy. So call out a little louder. Call out a little louder. But there was no answer. There was no reply. There was no voice. Nobody done business with them. So Elijah summoned the people to come near. Hallelujah. It was time for Elijah, hallelujah, to set up mighty God his altar. So Elijah did not set up on that same altar. He break down that altar. He break down the altar of Baal because God's people, God will not share his glory with anything. God is a consuming fire. 
So Elijah put the sacrifice, he built the altar, and he placed the sacrifice on the altar. He summoned the people to put the wood, hallelujah, to get some water, fill up, hallelujah, the buckets, and come and pour it on the sacrifice and on the wood. And he summoned them one time. He summoned them two times. He summoned them three times. There was enough water to soak the altar. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. How many times we place our sacrifice at Jesus' feet, but we can't wait. We do our own thing. But I want to tell you, hallelujah, that God is able to do what man can't do. So when the water was poured on the altar, Hallelujah, four jugs of water. So the altar was very soaked. And all the trenches were filled with water. Mighty God, hear what Elijah did. Elijah called upon God. And remember, the Bible says, whose God answers by fire is the true God. So Elijah called upon God. Hallelujah. And the fire of God came down. Mighty God, the fire of God came down and consumed, mighty God, and lit up every water. It consumed every stone. It consumed every wood. It consumed the, the, the sacrifice. When we call upon God, mighty God, the fire from heaven will come down and consume our sacrifice. God is a powerful God. God is a miracle working God. God is a God. Oh, glory to God who is able to consume all unrighteousness. God is a God who is able to change any situation. Hallelujah. And when the fire came down, mighty God, they bowed down and they worshipped the king of kings. They bowed down and they worshipped the lords of lords. We don't want to bow, but I want to tell you, when the children of God, hallelujah, when he had see what was happening, they bowed Oh, and they worship God. They give God the glory. So worship the king of kings. Because our God is not dead. One writer said, my God is not dead. But he is alive. The people knew who was the true and living God. Baal God was a dead God. But my God is alive. When the fire fell, there was a turning around. Families would be united. Mighty God, there was a turning around. No more dead churches. No more dead worshiping. But the worshiping was unto God Almighty. They worshiped the King of Kings. And they worshiped the Lords of Lords. When the fire fall, yokes were destroyed. Isaiah said, hallelujah, that burdens will be taken away. Yoke from your neck will be destroyed. Yoke will be broken because of the anointing of the Lord. When the anointing is in the house, you will never leave the same way you came because you will have an encounter with the Almighty God. It's time to let the fire burn. It's time to let the fire fall. Fall afresh upon me. Turn us around, Lord, because you are God. When the fire fall, we will be empowered. When the fire fall, we will be empowered. Hallelujah. In Acts chapter 1, he said, you shall receive power. When the power comes, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and you shall be witnesses. 
If the power fall on you, you won't stay still. When you get burned by fire, you make a jump. Hallelujah. There is a reaction. Everybody know that something happened. When the fire of God fall upon you, when you go out, hallelujah, people will know that there is a difference in you. When the fire fall upon you, people will know that you have been with the Lord. When the fire fall upon you, your conversation will change when the fire fall upon you don't you your talking your walking your dressing whatever you do will change because God has been with you you have been in the presence of the Lord you have been at Jesus feet hallelujah 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 let the fire fall all from heaven let the heavens be open mighty God and let the fire fall on us again hallelujah hallelujah when the fire fall even our enemies will have to step back because you are hallelujah you are God's chosen you are God's servant and you're walking in the presence of God when the fire fall mighty God sick will be healed when the fire fall you lay your hands on the sick and they will recover when the fire fall mighty God hallelujah if there is an unwelcome guest in the house you will know because the Holy Spirit will bring it up to you because you are in the presence of God mighty God when the fire fall you will sing a new song Mighty God, the psalmist says, I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and he heard my cry. He brought me up out of the miry clay. He planted my feet upon the rock to say, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And the songwriter said, he brought me out of the miry clay. He planted my feet on the rock to stay. He put a song in my mouth to sing a song of praise. If you know it, sing it, man, because he has brought you out of, of the miry clay. He planted my feet on the rock to stay. He put a song in my heart to sing a song of praise hallelujah oh yes he brought me out of the miry clay he sat my feet on the rock to stay he put a song in my heart to sing a song of praise hallelujah one more time On the rock to stay, he put a song in my heart to say a song. He remember that the, the word said to wait upon the Lord and he waited patiently on God. God plant his feet upon a rock. When we are on the rock, no matter what the storm clouds, no matter what the waters and the billows come, you are going to stand still. You are going to stand firm and you are going to sing the song of praise because we are more than conquerors through him that give us the strength power hallelujah God has given us the power and he has given us the authority to tread upon our enemies hallelujah the fire of God 
is a refiner. And when we look in Malachi, we see that this is a powerful picture of what happened when God's people encounter his transformation power. He will refine us. Just as a refiner would refine the precious gold and silver. God is able to make us over. God is able, hallelujah, to put us back on the wheel. And make us into the vessel that he wants us to be. But we have to allow him. When the fire fall, hallelujah, the fire of the Holy Spirit purifies and enables us to live a holy and a righteous life. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you are coming from. Because when we look at Joseph. Joseph was thrown in the pit. And he went to prison. And then he became an overseer. Hallelujah. God is able to turn you around. He's able to turn things around. He's able to put you, hallelujah, and place you in a strategic place where others will see you down to your enemy who, who talk things about you. They will see you because God will plant your feet on a higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. By faith on heaven's table land. A higher plane. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Do you want the Lord to plant your feet on higher ground? Too many times or too long, we are at the same stage. But I want, hallelujah, the Lord to lift us up today. Because the fire of the Holy Spirit is in the house. And if we avail ourselves to him, we will be able, oh God, to overcome. The yoke that is around us will be destroyed. Hallelujah. We will be transformed. Our minds will be renewed. We will will walk in the newness of life. We will put on a new man. All things are passed away. And behold, all things become new. Lift up your heads, children of God. Give God the glory. Hallelujah. The psalmist says, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For he had founded it upon the seas and he established shit upon the floods who shall stand in this place he that hath a clean hands and the pure heart and have not lifted up his soul to vanity hallelujah it's time we worship the king of kings it's time we worship the lords of lords it's time we allow the lord hallelujah to have his way in our lives Give God the praise and the battle will be won. Give him the praise and the foe will overcome. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Let the king of glory come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord of hosts, the Lord strong. Hallelujah. You might feel as if the battle that you're experiencing, you're not going to make it. But I want to tell you that the Lord is strong in battle. And the Lord is mighty. And he will devour any foe that comes up against God's people. Because no weapon that form against you shall prosper. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon will prosper. Give God the praise in the house. Give him the praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Fire is a symbol of the presence of God. God led the children of Israel through the wilderness with a pillar of cloud of fire by night to give them light. Although the way might seem so dark and dreary, 
and it seems as if you can't tunnel through, I want to tell you that the fire of God will give you the light. It will make a, a pillar of fire before you. When the way seems so dark and dreary, it will make that fire before you so you are able to see. The enemy will not catch you because God has surrounded you with his guardian angels. And he has surrounded you with the fire from heaven. He has surrounded you, hallelujah, with that glorious light. Because he is the light of the world. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Some of us, when we come into the house of the Lord, we leave the fire right here. When we go out, we forget the, the blessings that we have received and we walk right back into the same position or the place where we were. But I want to tell you, don't leave the fire in the kitchen. Carry the fire with you. Don't leave the fire. Walk with the fire because the fire of God will guide you. The fire of God will protect you. The fire of God will give you light. The fire of God will make the way when it seems so dark. The songwriter said, when I'm low in the spirits, I cry, Lord, lift me up. Why? I want to go higher in him. When you feel down in the valley, no one else around you. Lift up the fire of praise. Lift up the fire of prayer. Lift up the fire in his words and worship the Lord. Because he has given you a song to sing. Because we are more than conquerors through him that give us the strength. God is able. Lord, let the fire fall on me. Lord, let the fire fall in this place. Lord, let the fire fall on your people today, mighty God. Mm. Burn up all the enemies. Let the fire fall and burn up all the sin and consume all unrighteousness. Mighty God, when the fire fall, there will be a difference. We need to keep on the fire in line for God. We need to place our prayer, hallelujah, and rekindle the fire that is within us. Too many of us have gone cold. But the minute we've gone cold, the enemy steps in. But I want to tell you that God is a consuming fire. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Lift up the name of Jesus. Jeremiah said, I feel like fire shut up in my bone. Hallelujah. Touch us right now, Lord. Touch us. Touch us. And let the fire fall. Mighty God. Open the windows of heaven. And shower down. Hallelujah. Shower down mighty God. The fire from heaven. Upon this congregation right now. Shower down. Your fire upon us. Hallelujah. John said I indeed baptize you with water. But there is one who is coming. Whose sandals I'm not able to fit in. For he will baptize you with fire. And with the power of the Holy Spirit. If you have the, ho the Holy Spirit within you. You will not sit down. You know who you will worship. You worship your mayor. Hallelujah. When the fire fall. There will be growth. When the fire fall. There will be no more drought. When the fire fall. There will be no more hallelujah famine in your lives. Because the fire, hallelujah, will rekindle mighty God. That seed that is planted and cause it to germinate and it will grow. Let the fire fall on us today. Let the fire from heaven fall afresh upon us. 
We need the anointing. We need your anointing in the house. The anointing to worship you. We need the anointing when we praise you, Lord. We need the anointing to witness to others. Let the fire fall from heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Please stand with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If your fire has gone cold and there is a lack in your life, it's time to seek God. It's time to allow the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To pour out afresh upon you. It's time we give up and allow God to take charge. Hallelujah. Anointing fall on Anointing set me free. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Anointing fall on me. Anointing your prayers. Fan the flame, hallelujah, with fasting and seeking more of God because he wants to bless you afresh. Whatever you need from him is right here. Set me free. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall upon them right now. Anointing fall on me. Hallelujah. 
you have come to the altar whatever you need from the Lord just open your mouth and whisper a prayer to him just tell him and he will supply your needs hallelujah I'm going to pray with you but God is here and he will hear you when you cry to him it doesn't matter what you're going through God is able it doesn't matter what faces you God is able thank you Jesus hallelujah the Lord father we come before your presence we look to you God we honor you we worship you we adore you Lord you are the rock of ages Lord you are the mountain mover you are the the one who give us peace when there is storms around us mighty God this moment we thank you God for your words we thank you, mighty God, for what you have given unto us. I thank you, Lord, for these that are at the altar. Mighty God, you know their name. You know everything about them. But Lord God Almighty, they have a prayer that needs an answer. Mighty God, this moment I pray, God, that you will let Lord Jesus, your Holy Spirit, the fire from heaven, fall upon this altar right now. I pray mighty God that Lord Jesus there will be a curfew oh glory to God right now at this altar because Father God when the fire falls mighty God lies with the change when the fire falls oh God things will not remain the same I pray right now God that you will touch your people I pray Father God that you will see to their needs some need the baptism of the Holy Spirit some oh God need that gift from you I pray mighty God that the vessels will be ready to receive from you Father God because when the fire burns we oh God will never be the same I pray mighty God that you will have your way right now God take charge take full control right now Father God bring salvation to your people hallelujah right now mighty God whatever the situation is whatever the condition is Father God you are a purifier you are the one oh God who is able to purify every situation and make it clear mighty God of Daniel let your Holy Spirit sweep over this halter right now sweep over right now change your lives and send a revival in the lives of your people right now send a revival start a work in them right now start the work in them start the fire oh glory to God and it will trickle down to their families and those around mighty God of Daniel have your way right now Jesus let your will be done God Lord, I place them in your hands. Lord, I place them at your feet right now, God. Oh, glory to God. You are a God of the mountain. You are a God 
of the valley. You are God. Oh, glory to God of the sea. Mighty God. You are God over troubled waters. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lay your hands upon your daughter right now. Touch her, mighty God. And change things around her. Because, Lord, you are a God who never leave us nor forsake us. But you will be with us. Have your way right now, Jesus. We look to you, God. We honor you. We glorify your name. And we lift you up in the mighty name of Jesus. We tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Hallelujah. How we need your touch.